um, I was gonna like not do the intro part um, uh, like now, like when I have nothing on my face, but primer, um, uh, like primed eyes and eyebrows. But I mean, like I'm already here, I might as well. And yeah, like my cat's going crazy. I mean, it's good times, good times, you know? So today we're just gonna be doing a fall makeup look. I mean, that's what I've been doing and that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Um, unless you guys want me to stop. Just let me know down below if you guys want me to stop with these fall makeup tutorials because I have done quite a bit. I mean, not like a whole bunch, but I've done quite a bit. Um, and I can see people getting tired of them and just want like, just normal, like, we don't want this fall stuff. We want like, any kind of makeup, like something other than fall. That's what I'm trying to say. And girl, you better like my hair because like I spent two hours on my hair. Can you hear me? Two hours on my hair. I ASMR right there. Yeah. Um, I spent almost two hours on my hair because my hair is, it's not the curling part, it's this part. This whole part, I don't like the bun, but I mean, I can't do anything about it. I've tried so many times to do a freaking perfect bun, but I can't do one. I don't understand how these other girls can do a perfect bun, but I can't do a perfect bun. Like, I just don't understand. Um, and the braid part, that took forever for me. It looks awful, but it's better than the other times that I've done it. So, I mean, it's a... It's what I'm going to have to deal with, and it's what you're going to have to deal with, and you better like it. Comment down below if you like it. Even if you don't like it, comment down below and tell me that you like it, because, wow, look at that. But we're just going to get into this makeup tutorial, so if you want to learn how to get, um, I mean, I don't know what it's going to look like, but you guys will probably know, because if I did, like, those modeling poses at the beginning, I don't know if I'll put that at the beginning of the video or the end of the video, but... Probably at the beginning, since I'm talking about it right now. But if you want to learn how to get that look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so we're going to start with the Jomini Classy Palette. I feel like I always start with this palette, but this palette is so freaking good that I can't just not go in with a different palette because the colors that are in this palette are so dang good. I'm going to grab this Sacone blending brush right here. It's just a big, fat, fluffy brush. And I'm going to grab the color called Caramel. And I'm going to grab that with pumpkin spice because everybody loves pumpkin spice. <sighs> I mean, at least I do. I know a lot of people that don't like it and I just don't understand that. But, you know, it's okay. Um, but I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to put most of it on the outer part of the crease and then kind of put whatever's left on my brush, um, like, in here. Um, but I want most of the pigment to be back here. Oh my god, I love these colors! Oh my god. <laughs> these colors are amazing. If you don't have this palette, you need to go get it. I'm pretty sure it's $45. Um, at Ulta in Sephora. I don't know if it's in Sephora, but I know it's in Ulta for sure. Um, I don't know if they're out of stock of this palette or not, but I'll link it down below for you guys to go um, get this palette because this, I swear, you're going to be like shooken on this palette. If you think you won't like it, then don't get it. Obviously, you don't want to waste your money on it. Um, don't get it because I'm saying get to get it um uh, I always watch reviews on palettes um uh, to see if I would even like it um to see if people with eyelids like me like oily eyelids would even like the palette so always do your research before you go buy things that's my um life lesson to be honest so okay now we're done no we're not done because I've done too many looks like this, and yeah. Um, but now we are gonna go in with a brown. <laughs> I just rhymed. Ah, I hate myself. Um, I am going to grab um, this Morphe M441 brush. It's just like a blending brush, yeah. 
And I'm going to grab the Jacqueline and Morphe palette right here. Um, I'm going to be grabbing um, this brown color right here. And I'm just going to put that on the outer part of the eye, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with a black. Um, I thought this would be a little bit darker, um, but I think it's not. So... I'm going to go in with the chart, um, Charlie's Pro Palette, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is called Punk, and I'm going to put that on the outer part of my eye, obviously, um, but I'm going to take a little bit at a time because I don't want this to be too much, um, uh, so, yeah, um, I'm going to grab the same brush that we've been using, grab a little bit at a time, and put that on the outer part. Um, I am going to be doing a winged eyeliner with this. I don't even know what it's called because it, like, it's kind of removed and I don't know what it's called. So, yeah. But I'm just going to use a regular eyeliner do not a small wing, but a pretty small wing, if you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to do that and I'm going to go all the way in. Um, and later we're going to do that little wing on the inner part of the eye once we apply the inner corner highlight. So I'm going to do my wing real quick and then we're going to do the brow bone highlight and then I'm going to do my full face. And yeah, so let me do the wing and I'll be back. I'm going to be taking the Tarte Tardis Pro Palette. I'm going to be taking the color called Vintage, if I could pull the palette up, right here with a flat brush. And I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. So now what I'm going to be doing, all oh my hair is just a mess. <sighs> my hair's a mess. My hair's a mess. All I gotta say. Um, but I am going to actually fix my hair because, like, it's literally a mess. Um, uh, and then I'm gonna do my full face, um, put on some lashes, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alright guys, so I actually did some stuff off camera real quick, um, just to get it out of the way. Um, uh, because, I mean, why not? Um, so the lashes that I am wearing are the Argel Faux Meek Wispies. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm wearing today, and I did the inner corner kind of little wing right there, and the inner corner highlight is the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and Ice Latte. I just popped that on my inner corner, and it looks so good or whatever. Um, and then my lippy, no, actually, let's move, let's, let me tell you guys what I use for my waterline. Um, I use this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, um, Crayon and Milk. And that's what I put um, on my waterline. And then for my lippy, I wasn't going to do my lippy, but then I was like, you know what, let's just do it to get to like get it out of the way. I put on this first. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Kiss Matte Lipstick. I put that on first, and then I felt like it was a little bit too pinky. So I put um, on top this NYX Professional Makeup Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. So, yeah. Now my bottom lash line, I'm going to be grabbing those two colors that we put um, in the crease earlier, which is Caramel and Pumpkin Spice. I'm going to be taking those and I'm going to be putting it on my lower lash line, um, on the outer part, and then kind of the same exact thing that we did to the um, lid. Like, keep it on the outer part and then um, once you have all the product on the outer part, drag it to like the inner part of like the crease but on the lower lash line so we're gonna do the same exact thing so I was just gonna keep it like that and put on mascara lower mascara and just like be done but I felt like it 
I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker down there because it's so dark on the lid. Um, I just feel like I need to put some darkness down there. So I'm going to be taking um, the brown that we took earlier on the outer part of the eye. Just a little bit of that at a time and I'm going to put that on the outer part of the eye. And now I'm going to put some Airspun Loose Face Powder um, under my um, eyes, like on my under eye. And I'm going to put on this Wet Wild Mega Wear Mascara in very black down there. But yeah, so if you guys like this makeup look, um, if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment down below what you guys want to see next. I really love how this turned out looks really good or whatever everything in this video will be down below for you guys in order also my social media's links will be down below for you guys to go check out um to go like you know you could press the links and then you could follow me on other social media platforms other than youtube and yeah so i post a lot on instagram a lot on snapchat um uh, i post here and there on Facebook and here and there on Twitter but I do want to post more on those platforms but I just never I always forget about them because I'm so used to just posting on snapchat and Instagram I still post on those social medias but I don't post as much as Instagram and snapchat but I'm more active on snapchat and Instagram if you guys want to go follow me there um, also Facebook Twitter go follow me there also um, but yeah so I don't think there's anything else to tell you guys, but I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Hi, little kitty. Okay. Fun. She sees the lizard right there. Oh. Kitty, are you okay? Oh, she do not care. I think she killed the lizard without even physically touching it. The lizard is outside, by the way, not inside. I would freak out if it was inside. Right behind that sticker right there on my window. I can see his feet. Kitty, you can't get it. Her tail is hitting the window. You hear it? Oh my god, why did that scare me? Usually she's sleeping on my bed when I record, but I guess she doesn't want to anymore. And yeah.